This is me, the Grand Duchess Rasmus Koenin, also known as Ryan Tomlinson. I decided to do my um, simulcast, different, uh, than I've been doing previously. Getting a few works together, some copyright and so forth. But um, important developments this week, as I, sp I, 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 I spoke about it. Snowden having not having a place to live. How humane is that? That so many people in the world, so many countries cannot offer someone somewhere to live. Where's the human dignity in that? How does one person become a, a threat to so many other people? It's not the it's not the threat of the person, but it's the it's the it's the it's a cowardice of the hidden injustice that's done. The revelation of unethical and, uh, and mass erosion of integrity. And so Snowden, being a prisoner to, 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 to his, uh, to the people who wish they, to wish they hide their misdeeds at the NSA, very um, frightening indeed. Uh, what kind of threat can one man pose to such a mighty nation and China, Korea have hacked our defense system. Which, who is the threat? And, and, and what is more the threat to us? The inhumaneness of having a man just dangling in the wind while looking out for the best interests of his country and its constitution is unbelievable. This, this was probably the best way he could have brought light to a certain situation that none of us would have known about and what is the conversation as an end result to Snowden leak mm. that is where we should be that is the, 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 the issue that we should be addressing secondly how dare they when we know more the issue involved have a lot to do with uh, some experimental techniques used by the Department of Defense. It's an affront and offense to the general population because of how they acquired the data. And so therefore that becomes a threat to the national security. But ethics, lack of ethics, injustice, and the harming of innocent and unaware citizens should not be tolerated in society. It does not represent our constitution. We are human beings and irregardless, some of us may be disabled, so forth. Do not subject us to the authority of others. What else is in the news? Good old Egypt after one year. What an unstable nation it is now. It's been so quiet and so united for so long that little Miss Hillary and their plan for democracy what a disaster it is now. We have another country in civil war. And how uncivil she is. There she is addressing herself to run for presidency. I see her as an act, a coward. An act of cowardice. She perpetrated a certain stereotype. And she never. She, a stereotype, I say. Because that's not an agenda. It's not a political agenda. It's a bossy I can do this because we are who we are. I find it tactless in this modern age society that we're not able to communicate peacefully, to respect each other's culture, way of life, and religion. And that somebody else's culture and religion could be a threat to us. It has never been so in the past. In the past, we have had persecutions that led people to this country. Why should we revert back to the process in this modern day society? Why should another age of religion become a threat to us? Therefore, destabilizing Egypt, trying to attack poor little Syria, another country at peace. There is something wrong in our uh, quest to maintain our respectability as America and as American citizen. It is so, un it is so uh, 
unfortunate that it should happen in Barack Obama's presidency. Well, sometimes we need something great or something, something new to show an age-old problem. And the age-old problem are coming to roost. Hmm. How peculiar that we should stand on such a side that we cannot attest to our integrity and that our constitution is not at the forefront or the background of the of, of the agenda we pursue. Instead, our greed, our own self perceptions, and then these demonic psychics surround, surrounded in the White House. Well, God knows, in time uh, comes everything. And what should we give to people that we want to respect us, to follow us, to adapt our own democracy? How could we call it a democracy if uh, Snowden brought to light certain things and there are many other things that have been brought to light? Are we in peril or are we in crisis? And if we are in crisis as a nation or in peril, then what business do we have? How are we addressing that crisis? Ah, there are certain things that are very predictable in the administration, not to be critical of it, but to highlight the need and the lack of insight and intelligence over the past successive presidencies and the role that the, they played now in society. Still so flourish and so forcently and so forth. Their agendas is just such a lackluster of the pride and the embellishment of ingenuity that we seek to reinvigorate the society. And so therefore, I don't mind being the sounding board. As I said in one of my writings, I have no ma weapons of mass destruction. All I have is my prayers. Would you persecute me for my prayers? And maybe that's what we're doing. Is this what Snowden is bringing to light? This is Misa Grand Duchess Rasmus Conan. Have a good day.